हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू डिस्कवर किड्स एजुकेशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न बॉडी मूवमेंट्स व्हाट इज मूवमेंट्स द एबिलिटी ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम्स टू चेंज द पोजीशन बाय यूजिंग देयर बॉडी पार्ट इज कॉल्ड मूवमेंट स्केलेटल सिस्टम The skeletal system provides support and protection for the body's internal organs and gives the muscles a point of attachment. Humans have an endoskeleton where our bones lies underneath our skin and muscles. In other animals such as insects there is an exoskeleton on the outside of the body. Different kinds of bones are joined to each other in a particular manner. these joints facilitate various types of movements in higher animals bones muscles and cartilage together make the movement possible in humans the skeletal system consists of bones joints and associated cartilages an adult human has 206 bones in their body and variety of different joints functions of the skeleton bone marrow produces blood cells in protection ribs heart and lungs vertebrate of backbone nerves of spinal cord pelvis some parts of reproductive and digestive system cranium or skull brain eyes and inner ear movement muscles attached to bones by tendons maintain the shape of the body and supports the body the skull what is the part of your body that rest at top of your shoulders your head of course but what is underneath the skin on your head well there is a brain but that's not all surrounding your brain is the part of your skeleton known as your skull functions of the skull include protection of the brain fixing the distance between the eyes to allow stereoscopic vision and fixing the position of the ears to enable sound localization of the direction and distance of sounds the spine The black bone encloses the spinal cord and the fluid surrounding the spinal cord also called spinal column spine and vertebral column The spinal cord is a cylindrical structure of the nervous tissue composed of white and gray matter It's uniformly organized and it's divided into four regions cervical thoracic lumbar and scleral each of which is comprised of several segments what is spinal cord and what is its function the spinal cord functions primarily in the transmission of nerve signals from the motor cortex to the body and from the afferent fibers of the sensory neurons to the sensory cortex It is also a center for coordinating many reflexes and contains reflex arcs that can independently control reflexes. The rib cage. Bones which join the chest and the backbone is called ribs. Present left and right side of chest bone. These were 12 pairs of ribs. These bones combinedly called as rib cage. It protects lungs and heart from any mechanical wear and tear. Your rib cage consists of 12 pairs of curved ribs that are eventually matched on both sides. Men and women have the same number of ribs. Muscles Muscles are part of the body that help in bringing about movement. Muscles may be attached to bones or may work alone. Muscles are attached to the bones and it's responsible for the movement of human body. 
there is a change in the length of the muscle due to contraction and relaxation. If you move your arm touching your shoulder, you will observe the bulging and part on your arm. This muscle is due to contraction. And it come back to its normal position if you stretch your arms and muscle come to relax. Cartilage Cartilage is also an important component of your body. When you touch your ear and nose, you will find it flexible. This is due to the presence of cartilages. It is softer and more flexible than bone. Cartilage is also found between the joints of knees and hips. Types of joint in human body The bones present in our body form a framework. This framework is called skeleton. The framework is necessary to support many organs present in our body. Because of this framework, we can stand still, can walk, can run and can do various physical activities. Each part of our body has different work. So the structure of bones and joints present is also different from one another. You can observe this by feeling your hands, legs, ankle, knee, head and neck. You also had come across the x-ray image of any of the body part which is clearly shows the bones beneath the skin. Different types of joints Ball and socket joints Pivotal joints Hinge joints and fixed joints Ball and socket joints This is the type of joint in which ball shaped surface of one bone fitted into the hollow space of another bone also called socket in this type of joint movement can be done in all the directions for example shoulder joints and hip joints pivot joint a pivotal joint is where a cylindrical bone rotates in a ring it joins the neck to the head it allows to bend the head forward and backward and turn the head to our left and right. Hinge joints Hinge joints bring about moment in only back and forth direction. Hinge joints are found between the two or more than two bones where we need back and forth moment. For example, knees, elbows, ankle joints. Fixed joints Fixed joints are immovable joints because the bones are joined together. Such joints are found in the skull. As the name says, these types of joints are called fixed because it does not move in any direction. For example, bone present in your head also called skull bone which does not move. You can observe by moving your jaw. But you cannot move your upper part of mouth because it is fixed. Gates of animals The different patterns of movement of animals due to the difference in their skeletal structure are called gates of animals. Earthworm The earthworm does not have any internal skeleton. The body is made up of many rings joined end to end and muscles attached to these rings helps to extend and shorten the body. The skin of earthworm also has a large number of tiny bristles that help it get a good grip on the ground. Repeated extension and contraction of the body muscles enable the earthworm to move through the soil. Snail Snail moves with the help of their muscular flat foot. They glide along a solid surface which is lubricated with muscles. This motion is powered by succeeding waves of muscular contraction of the foot. Snails commonly found on land or in soil. Snail possesses wavy movement with muscular contraction.
It's also secret sticky substance called muscus which helps to reduce grip between the snail and the ground so that they can move easily. It has shell on its back which it's hard but not made of bone and is not helpful in locomotion. A snail locomotion is frequently called graveling. Cockroach Cockroach is an insect and is a terrestrial animal, mostly a common household pest. Cockroaches possess various types of locomotion. They can walk, climb and fly. The body is divided into three parts, head, thorax and abdomen. Three pairs of legs are present in thoracic part, which moves by the muscles present near its legs. The body is covered with the outer hard exoskeleton. It uses breast muscles for the movement of wings, due to which they can fly. Birds Bats were egg-laying animals with feathers, wings and beak. Bats can fly, can run, can walk, can perch, can swim, as well as possess various kinds of moments, but not all the bats can fly. For example, penguin and ostrich cannot fly. These are called flightless bats. Four limbs of bats were modified into wings due to which these can fly. Hind limbs are legs due to which they can jump walk or swim as can be seen in ducks. The skeleton of bird is hollow to reduce weight and the breastbone muscle used to move the wings up and down. The bats with heavy bone weight cannot fly much higher. Fish Fish found in oceans, rivers, lakes, aquarium etc. Fish locomotion is swimming in water body of a fish is slimmer than the middle portion. It is called tapered ends and this shape is called streamlined body. This type of shape allows the fish to move easily in the water. Fishes has well arranged skeleton covered with strong muscles. Fishes swims by moving its body and tail in opposite direction to each other. They stretch the body and relaxing the tail in opposite direction. This form a curve. Then quickly the body moves other side and the tail on the opposite. This creates the jerk and pushes the fish in forward direction. This moment is helped by the fins present on the tail and also the fins present on body helps to balance the body while swimming. Snakes Snakes do not have legs for movement, but use their long backbone along with muscles for movement. Their body curves into many loops, which gives its forward push by pressing against the ground. Snakes live on ground, water, on trees. These were legless reptiles. Snakes possess wavy motion. It has a long backbone covered with muscle and skin. Snakes cannot move on frictionless surface like glass. During its movement, snakes create curves in many loops which pushes them to the forward direction. They move very fast but not in straight line. The motion created by the snakes is called serpentine motion. Hope you enjoyed and learned the new things. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, share and subscribe our channel. Please hit the notification bell so that you can get the notifications on the new videos immediately. Thank you.